the Democratic Republic of Congo, larger in area than Western Europe, is richly endowed with natural resources. Nonetheless, in the wake of years of regional and civil conflict and continuing weak governance, 73% of its 66 million population live on less than one dollar a day. The child and infant mortality rate in the Democratic Republic of the Congo is one of the highest in the world. Life expectancy is 48 years. 54% of the population does not have access to clean water. 17% of deaths of children under 5 are caused by waterborne diseases. We went to an infant feeding center run by the Sisters of Perpetual Aid in the village of Mpasa. Yeah. How many children do you have? I was 200 now here. 300 over there, but they're not all there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is a, a water well, a drinking water well, and uh, for, for the nuns in this uh, city. But uh, all people around came here to, to have some water for the family. Uh, about uh, 1,000 uh, people. <laughs> Since 2002, the Rotary Club of Vancouver and the Rotary Club of Kinshasa Kingabwa have worked together to support medical and educational projects in the Kinshasa province. In September 2008, the Rotary Club of Vancouver mission to the Democratic Republic of the Congo visited two water well projects supported by local Rotarians on the periphery of the capital city province, Kinshasa. Gonik, who is an engineer, has just explained uh, how they have constructed this well. They've drilled down 50 meters and they put in place the kind of piping we saw yesterday where the water could come in at the bottom but not at the top. And they surrounded with this filtering sand. Then when it was finished, they put in the pump. The, the electric pump is installed there. And it then is connected to a source of electricity over there, La Goupe Electrogène, it's over there. Is that worked off? Yes. And so then the water comes and it's pumped up into these holding tanks and it's distributed throughout this village at different points. This is the only well in this whole area to serve 5,000 people. Pour <laughs> Uh, this, this tap here and the other taps in the village have totally changed my life, completely changed my life. Before we were living in a little village where life was constrained, we feel now with water that we're living in a real town. So it's a water point for this whole area. Look, you have women coming right now to fill, uh, to fill their jugs and their containers. They hear, they hear the pump. So they hear. 
in the villages where we're going to drill the rotary wells uh, supported by the Vancouver Club. Uh, since it's a village atmosphere, it's far more secure to have hand pumps or even solar panels so you don't have to worry about uh, fuel for a generator. In 2008, with support from their Rotary Districts and the Rotary Foundation, the Rotary Club of Vancouver, Rotary Club of Kinshasa Kingabwa and seven Rotary Clubs of Province France supported drilling four deep water wells far up the Congo River from Kinshasa. These provided access to clean water for some 20,000 villagers. In October 2010, Rotary Club of Vancouver, Rotary Club of Kinshasa Kingabwa and the Rotary Club of Tokyo Sedagaya South with support from their Rotary Districts completed the drilling of three deep water wells on the margins of the Kinshasa city province. These wells today are providing clean water for 7,000 poor villagers. The wells have improved the health of all the villagers and have changed the lives of thousands of women and children who previously spent hours of drudgery each day fetching unclean water for their families. <laughs> 